Junko Nishioka, Chief Japan Economist at RBS Securities, joins us on the line from Tokyo with her reaction to these numbers. Junko also working at the Bank of Japan. And Junko, first off, uh, much worse than expected. So we're looking at an annualized figure here down 2.3% and contraction of 0.6% with the quarter on quarter number. Uh, what do you make of these numbers? Okay, yes. So actually, we had expected the uh, growth number at minus 2.7%. Uh, quarter on quarter, quarter annualized. So there is no, for me, there is no uh, big surprise for the uh, for the, the result came out uh, came out. Uh, then we have to uh, uh, focus on negative two factors, uh, which is coming from the public demand, which declined minus 0.1 uh, percent. Sorry, which uh, pushed down the GDP number by minus 0.1 percent. And also the second mm -hmm. factor is coming from the next export of, of goods and service which uh, declined the GDP number by minus 0.6%. Uh, and so uh, I basically uh, think that this uh, weak result is, uh, come, uh, was uh, basically in line, with our, uh, in line with our expectations. And on the other hand, we, ha we should uh, monitor the, some positive sign that domestic demand is still, uh, look, uh, still looks uh, healthy. So we have to think about some uh, continued recovery for the household consumption, which increased 0.2% mm -hmm. for a GDP number for the last quarter last year. Uh, Junko, what are you saying then for this quarter, Q1? Does that mean that are we in for a recession, which is a technical recession of two straight quarters of negative growth, or are we going to see a rebound for Japan in Q1? No, actually, I don't believe that uh, GDP numbers are going to see uh, consecutive minus growth. We are still expecting that GDP to pick up in the first quarter of this year, uh, mainly, uh, push, uh, uh, mainly um, boosted by the uh, public demand, also the sustained recovery of the household consumption. Uh, there is some uh, good, no good uh, news coming from the government sector that uh, the government has passed the uh, supplemental budget, a series of the uh, supplemental supplementary budget for the last fiscal years. So we uh, expect that those uh, fiscal measure is likely to, to appear from the uh, first quarter this year and also second quarter. Okay. Um, it's interesting that you're so, I guess, uh, optimistic on the first quarter of this year because we have the GDP deflator coming through from the fourth quarter looking at 1.6% from a year ago. Any concerns then that there, these are still negative numbers and how does it hamper Q1 numbers? Uh, yeah, of course, uh, compared to the uh, potential growth number or just comparing to the, any other Asian, uh, Asian uh, economies, I think that uh, Japan's economy is still uh, relatively weak. But uh, we have to consider the, some negative uh, uh, development seen in the export numbers. Uh, it is likely that uh, export number is likely to slow down for the first quarter and likely in the second quarter. So the, those numbers should be uh, dumped in the GDP number going forward. All right, uh, Junko, thank you so much for your analysis. Junko Nishioka, Chief of Japan Economist at RBS, and her reaction to these worse than expected uh, fourth quarter GDP numbers out of Japan.